Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In this video guys, we're going to unbox and review the Razer Kishi version 1 for the Android devices. Now with anything further ado guys, before we're going to start this video, I want to give a big shout out to Max Gaming for sponsoring this video. With, with, the, with the shutout out of the way guys, um, we're going to go straight up to unboxing. I got the package right here, we're going to open it, you see it's, it's like, what I, what I always wanted to do guys is just do that, boom, I love it. So uh, this is how it looks, this is the carton, from here, beside like from, from the bottom, yeah, like the crazy, it says ultra, ultra low latency gameplay via type connection, so let's go directly to type C connection guys, uh, unfortunately my setup is not that good, but I'm going to try always to put this up here, next time we're going to have it like table mode activating, but uh, yes, it says uh, universal gaming controller for Android, clickable analog thumbsticks, fits, fits most Android devices, and here we're going to actually um, where this is gonna actually kind of not being true in this review and uh, economic design well we'll see about that so let's just open it I already pre-opened it there are like two hold up let me show you like here is like you see it's like it's like a plastic and here too I just slide open and it slides like this I like this uh, handle design here inside they're gonna be um, those stickers I'm gonna just take the look this is how the controller looks inside there you go really cool okay just gonna take it out like this and uh, I'm gonna put the controller just like to the side inside the controller is nothing more than uh, this is just plastic and there's like the um, instructions and if I'm not wrong yeah it's always the stickers from Razer so if you like that it's something we do so you're gonna put the controller back just like here I mean the package and uh, when you open the controller brand new I just really open it um, there is like this sticker let me show you and this and this one here this sticker and the other sticker on the joy on the on the gamepad and on the, on the controller so this is how the control looks um, so the 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 joypad I think yeah those you know I'm not so good in what anyways in those they really feel like an Xbox controller and when before we go in any further and like people oh no but how do you know right here I have actually Xbox One controller and they literally sound the same and they feel the same and I click here this is the original one right and uh, yeah they feel literally the same when it goes to those um, I don't know what you can call them yeah nipple control <laughs> something <laughs> I'm sorry children um, yes Anyways, um, when it goes to the buttons, um, when it goes to those buttons here, they feel as well really good. People been saying in the reviews, mushy and whatnot, I think they really feel really good, um, acceptable. Yeah, you see on the Xbox controller, you have them more like that, that, that rich click, right? You know, you, you want that. But it's not that big. Yeah, it does. It doesn't sound clicky, but it feels good when you press in uh, into it. Um, yeah, other than that, there is here as well. There's this this um, charging port port port. That's when you put your more when your phone in, it's gonna charge while you're playing, so you don't have to like go off and don't play. Um, let's open it. What I find difficult is really this. Yeah, you need to like twist it and then like it's 
come out. So there we go. And it's like a band. Just like that. Now uh, the the bad the bad things comes comes now. Now my phone that I have right now. I actually have two phones here, guys. I have the previous one that I had. Um, is the Xiaomi uh, 990 Pro, 9 Pro. This is the Xiaomi 9 Pro, guys. And this is the, my newest phone right now. I'm not gonna try to flex, but this is the Samsung S23 Ultra. And this is a big boy. Look at the difference here. Side by side. And you can see this thing is a big boy. Uh, it's a thick. We love thick things, do we not? See, it's thick as heck. And I ordered this, uh, this this controller is set as it said on the packaging. Hold up, let me get it back again. It says fits most Android devices and uh, I do agree with them. Now, one thing you need to, uh, you need to know and adjust to that you cannot use cover. This is, a, this is the old cover, it's dirty, I'm sorry. This is the new one for my Samsung and uh, now Keep in mind, you cannot use any cover with the with the Razer Kishi version one. Uh, most likely, for, for the most those Android controllers, uh, it's not going to fit. Your phone is not going to fit, so forget that. Every time you're going to use the controller, you need to take out your uh, covers. So this is out of the way, so you know what's good. Probably people have been asking because I'm asking myself every time when I watch a review. Nobody mentioned that. So now when we go into the 990 Pro. The Xiaomi 90 Pro guys is not a it's not a small phone either, but let's put it in. So you take the USB Type C. There's low there's not no latency at all. Put it in. Fits in just good. And then you just stretch it out just like that, and it fits snugly in. And holy shit, it looks good as well. Look, it looks like a Nintendo Switch, if not cooler uh, than a Nintendo Switch. It feels good. <clears throat> it's, it's, it has a, you're probably not gonna do that. You're probably not gonna wiggle, 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 you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, once again. You're probably not gonna wiggle like that when you play, but, uh, you have to keep in mind your hands gonna be really wide from each other, so it feels a little bit unnatural uh, in comparison when you play like that. This for me feels like when if I have the Xbox controller in my hands, yeah, it feels more natural. And here, <coughs> it's it's literally it's literally like a Nintendo Switch factor, as you might see. But it's not too bad. Uh, it's stable enough for me to play. I think if I really would go heavy on it, yeah, it's it's it feels good. It feels good. You're not probably not gonna do that, right? So this is one thing out of the way. So now here comes the bad thing. And by the way, there are like plastic. There's like plastic inside here. I just gonna see that. This is to um, to protect your phone from not getting stretched. Uh, scratched when you put it inside the Razer Kishi um, contr controller. Um, anything further, anything further than the, the the Xiaomi 90 Pro, like like the Samsung S23 Ultra, or maybe the Samsung 23, the 22 Ultra as well, not gonna fit in this thing. And this is here where I got disappointed, as they say, fits most devices. They didn't promise, though. I'm gonna be honest, they didn't promise that they're gonna fit all the controllers in. Uh, so yes, but at least they should they should have put in on like the type of controls that it supports Yes, so with the protection my my Samsung 20 T Ultra So if you have one guys don't even think about it. It's not gonna fit. There's no way in Yeah, it's just not gonna fit right Just not gonna fit and by taking now you might ask you can take those covers out but by taking those covers out, guys, you will not have the protection and the phone gonna be wiggly inside. It's I'm gonna put them out. You just take them out like this, and the same play at the other place as well. A little bit hard to get out. So again, fit now. My, even with this, yeah, it's it's. I do not. I, it's it's just not. It's not it. It works. 
It works with the controller, but the thing is, look at that. It barely fits in. And look at this. It's yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. Th this is this is not how you're supposed to use it. It fits, but you see, you don't have the sturdiness anymore because it's not supposed to be like that. You're supposed to have those, so it's you get this sturdiness, and it's boy. It's like it's yeah. You see, what I maybe I can show you. Yeah, it's it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be uh, like this, but because there's nothing inside. Yeah, let's keep on. It's like because it's really hard to get out. There we go. Nope. So if you have a, if you have a Samsung S22 or Samsung S23 Ultra, uh, this controller is not recommended for you, guys. Or even a phone that is. It doesn't have to be a Samsung. Even if it's like a controller that has the same size, something that is bigger than the the Xiaomi. Um, 90 Pro guys, it's not gonna fit in this controller. Other than that, I tried it out. The latency is good. There's no latency at all. Um, uh, it feels responsive. It feels really good while you're playing with it. Um, yes, you probably want me to play on it or something like that, but I really did. Um, uh, I played a little bit Dragon Ball GBA uh, on it. Dragon Ball uh, Advance. And whatnot. I played some Call of Duty as well. It's it feels literally the same like the Xbox One controller, but with bit lower latency. And uh, yeah, it's oh, it's uh, pretty much it. So yes, just like in detailed. Uh, oh, I forgot. That's pretty much it, guys. So if you have a phone that is bigger, that is bigger than than the Xiaomi, the Xiaomi uh, X90 Pro or so it's, it's just not it's, it's a deal breaker here because it's not gonna fit your phone there's no way because those are supposed to be in they're not supposed to be outside the controller but there's also it guys I gonna get the heck out of here have yourself a good day and probably else keep it cool and stay awesome and one more one more time thank you for Max Gaming for sponsoring this video Peace.